Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Uh, this is Roger Ward back with another video, just updating you on the progress of my seedlings. Um, I got a couple requests asking for um, updates on how the seeds that I uh, harvested from my Echeveria stocks a couple months ago, uh, whether or not I was able to get them to uh, germinate. And so I uh, just wanted to show you guys that they, the seeds I planted actually did germinate. Um, and I, I dragged my feet on planting them for a while. Uh, but eventually I just said, you know, I'm just going to do it. Uh, I had some second guesses as to, you know, whether or not it would actually work. And I just kind of dragged my feet. But eventually I just took them. I took a collection of seed pods from a variety of Echeveria species. Some from Etna, some from uh, Mauna Loa, some from... Strawberry Hearts, Blue Waves, some other ones. Um, I just kind of mixed them all together. Some of them I had purposefully um, cross-pollinated cross uh, to see if I could make a hybrid. Uh, but I collected seed pods from uh, flowers that I did not purposefully uh, cross-pollinate. And, and I wasn't sure if they were pollinated at all. But I just collected a whole bunch just to see if I could get any seeds to grow at all. Just kind of a proof of concept. And... Um, so I took those seeds, I blended them up in a coffee grinder, and I filtered them out with a little uh, mesh filter, and I collected the seeds on a white paper, and I, uh, actually in a, a coffee filter, and I soaked them in gibberellic acid uh, overnight in a, and stuck them in a refrigerator. And uh, then in the morning, I basically uh, spread them out on the soil. And the soil, I actually... Um, I kind of sterilized by baking it at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. I was told that uh, that would help minimize some of the uh, bacterial growth and and uh, microorganisms that would want to grow along with my seedlings. Uh, but other than that, then I just stuck it in these old repurposed sushi containers from Safeway. Um, and the, the, the substrate that I use is mostly uh, pumice. Uh, it's marketed as dry stall. You can buy them at uh, pet stores. Um, and then the the other s fraction of the substrate is just uh, miracle Grow from like Home Depot, just the regular potting mix, and just bake it to kill off all the microorganisms. And then I just sprinkled the seeds everywhere. I probably sprinkled thousands in one single flat alone. Um, and then yeah, I was surprised how quick they sprouted. They sprouted only within a matter of days. So I've got probably well over a hundred here and I, yeah I tossed it a few agave seeds just for the fun of it and uh, I think one, one of those looks like it's sprouting but um, but yeah as you can see I'm having pretty good success here um, with the germination a uh, fair percentage of the seeds looks like they've sprouted looks like if, if all of these continue to grow I'll have over a hundred um, seedlings and and again most of these Echeveria are uh, Jibiflora hybrids and whatnot. So uh, I've got a little jeweler's loop here I thought I might use to show you guys a real up close uh, image of what these seedlings look like. But there they are. Um, yeah, they're definitely succulent seeds. Um, let's see if I can find any more. There's some there. Got one there. So yeah, I I consider this uh, by all uh, by all considerations a success so far. And these have been growing. These have been growing for about a week since I sowed them. Uh, so yeah, that's just a quick update, and um, I'll let you guys know uh, when there's uh, something new to show you guys. All right, it's Roger Ward signing out.